Have you ever wondered what causes the mesmerizing light show known as the Northern Lights? These ethereal curtains of color in the night sky have captivated human beings for centuries. Across different cultures, they have inspired awe and reverence, often woven into folklore and mythology as celestial beings, spirits, or omens. But beyond the myths and legends, there's a fascinating scientific explanation for this phenomenon, also known as the Aurora Borealis. At its core, the Northern Lights are a testament to the intriguing interplay between our planet and the Sun, the star at the heart of our solar system. You see, our Sun is constantly active, emitting a stream of charged particles known as solar wind. During periods of heightened solar activity, the Sun can release a burst of these particles in a spectacular explosion known as a solar flare or a coronal mass ejection. These eruptions hurl a wave of charged particles into space, some of which are directed towards Earth. When these particles reach Earth, they interact with our planet's magnetic field, funneling towards the poles. As they collide with gases in our atmosphere, they trigger a stunning light show. The different colors of the auroras, ranging from green and red to purple, are the result of these particles interacting with different types of gases. The northern lights are not just a spectacle for the eyes, but also a testament to the powerful forces at work in our solar system. They remind us of the dynamic relationship between our home planet and the sun, and the invisible forces that can create such visible beauty. The mysteries of the Northern Lights, in essence, are a celebration of this cosmic dance. It all begins on the surface of the Sun with a burst of energy known as a solar flare. Imagine, if you will, our Sun, a gargantuan ball of hot, glowing gases. Suddenly, a violent burst of energy erupts from its surface, releasing a torrent of electromagnetic radiation. This is a solar flare, a spectacle of nature's raw power on a cosmic scale. But the story doesn't end there. Alongside these solar flares, the Sun often ejects billions of tons of solar material into space. These are known as coronal mass ejections or CMEs. Propelled by the Sun's intense magnetic fields, these CMEs race through space at speeds that can exceed a million miles per hour. Yes, you heard that right, a million miles per hour. Now, you might be wondering, how does this celestial drama unfolding millions of miles away affect us here on Earth? Well, it's all down to Earth's magnetic field, our planet's invisible shield. This magnetic field extends far into space, protecting us from the onslaught of solar particles. As these highly charged particles from the Sun hurtle towards Earth, they are deflected by our magnetic field. But the magnetic field near the Earth's poles is weaker, allowing some particles to enter the Earth's atmosphere, and this is where the magic happens. These solar particles, traveling at mind-boggling speeds, collide with the gases in our atmosphere. Each collision generates a tiny flash of light. Now, imagine billions of these collisions happening simultaneously. That's what creates the ethereal glow of the auroras, painting the sky with a breathtaking palette of colors. When these charged particles finally reach us, they put on a dazzling display in our skies. As these particles collide with gases in our atmosphere, a beautiful dance of colors unfolds. But what exactly brings about this celestial spectacle of hues? The answer lies in the unique interaction between solar particles and various gases present in our atmosphere. When the charged particles, propelled by the solar wind, reach our planet, they collide with different gases. Oxygen and nitrogen, the two most abundant gases in our atmosphere, play key roles in this cosmic ballet. At altitudes of around 60 to 200 miles, oxygen atoms, when excited by these solar particles, emit a greenish-yellow light, the most common color of the aurora. Higher up, at around 200 miles or more, these same oxygen atoms create a rare all-red aurora. Meanwhile, nitrogen, another major player, has its own tale to tell. When solar particles excite nitrogen molecules, they can produce both blue and purplish-red hues. The blue occurs at lower altitudes, while the purplish-red is found higher in the atmosphere. The dance of colors in the sky is not random. It's a meticulously choreographed performance directed by the sun, executed by solar particles and illuminated by our atmosphere. Each hue, each ripple, each wave of color is a testament to the complex interactions happening far above us. But remember, these colors are not just for our viewing pleasure. They are visual evidence of the sun's influence on our planet of the intricate processes that take place in our atmosphere and of the forces that shield us from solar storms. 
Each color tells a story of an epic journey from the sun to our atmosphere. So the next time you marvel at the aurora, know that you're witnessing not just a beautiful light show, but also a tale of cosmic proportions, a dance choreographed by nature itself, and a testament to the invisible forces that shape our world. While the Northern Lights are a regular occurrence in certain regions, their visibility can be unpredictable. This unpredictability is part of what makes this natural spectacle so awe-inspiring. No two displays are ever the same and a myriad of factors can influence when and where the lights will appear. Location is one of the main determinants of visibility. While the Northern Lights are most commonly seen in high latitude regions such as Iceland, Canada and the Scandinavian countries, they have been known to reach as far south as Texas during periods of high solar activity. This was the case in late 2023 when a double eruption on the sun sent highly charged particles hurtling towards Earth, resulting in a strong geomagnetic storm that extended the aurora's visibility far beyond their usual boundaries. Time of year also plays a role. The northern lights are typically more visible during the equinoxes in March and September when the Earth's magnetic field aligns more directly with the sun's solar wind. However, they can occur at any time depending on solar activity and weather conditions. Speaking of weather, clear skies are crucial for viewing the northern lights. Cloud cover can obstruct the view and light pollution from urban areas can also diminish their intensity. So if you're planning to chase the lights, it's best to head to remote areas away from city lights and preferably on a clear moonless night. The frequency and intensity of the northern lights are influenced by the sun's solar cycle which lasts approximately 11 years. During solar maximum, the peak of this cycle, solar flares and coronal mass ejections become more frequent, leading to more intense and widespread auroras. As we approach solar maximum in 2024, we can expect to see more of these dazzling displays. Despite their unpredictability, the Northern Lights remain one of nature's most captivating phenomena. They remind us of our connection to the cosmos and of the powerful forces at play in our universe. As we continue to learn more about them, we can only marvel at their beauty and wonder at their mystery. Solar storms are not just about beautiful lights in the sky, they can also have tangible impacts on Earth. When the Sun hurls a coronal mass ejection towards us, it's not just a light show we're signing up for. These solar storms can carry significant impacts for our planet, particularly for our technology and infrastructure. Think about it, we live in a world that's more connected than ever, our lives revolve around technology from the smartphones in our pockets to the satellites orbiting our planet. Now imagine a solar storm so strong that it disrupts this intricate web of technology. This is not a figment of imagination, but a reality we've already encountered. In October 2003, a solar storm of exceptional magnitude reached Earth, causing power outages in Sweden and damaging power transformers in South Africa. This event, known as the Halloween storm, was a stark reminder of how vulnerable our technology-dependent society could be to the whims of solar activity. Satellites, our eyes and ears in space are particularly susceptible. A strong solar storm can damage these crucial pieces of technology, affecting everything from weather forecasting and GPS navigation to telecommunications and broadcasting. Moreover, solar storms can also impact our electric power grid. The geomagnetically induced currents can overload the grid leading to widespread blackouts and causing millions of dollars in damages. But it's not all doom and gloom. The knowledge of these potential impacts has led to various measures to safeguard our technology and infrastructure. For instance, power companies can now take steps to protect the grid when a major solar storm is forecasted. Similarly, satellite operators can put their satellites in safe mode to limit the damage. While we marvel at the beauty of the Northern Lights, we must also respect the power of the Sun and its influence on our planet. As we continue to learn more about these solar phenomena, we are better equipped to mitigate their impacts and ensure that we can continue to enjoy the spectacle of the auroras without any unwelcome surprises. As we near the peak of solar activity, we may be in for some spectacular Northern Lights displays. This heightened solar activity, a period known as the solar maximum, is projected to occur between January and October of 2024. This means that the sun will be at its most active, releasing an increased number of solar flares and coronal mass ejections. These eruptions from the sun release highly charged particles that journey through space to interact with Earth's magnetic field, creating the awe-inspiring phenomenon that we know as the auroras. 
As we've seen recently, this heightened solar activity can result in the northern lights being visible much further south than is typical. Some parts of the United States, such as Texas and Colorado, have been treated to these stunning light shows. However, as the solar maximum approaches, the focus of these displays is expected to shift back towards the north. This means that the usual northern lights hotspots like Canada, Iceland and Scandinavian countries will be in for some truly extraordinary displays. However, it's important to remember that the visibility of the northern lights is not just dependent on solar activity. Weather conditions play a key role as well. Clear skies are essential for optimal viewing conditions. So if you're lucky enough to be in a location where the northern lights are predicted to appear, make sure to keep an eye on the weather forecast. Despite the unpredictability of this natural phenomenon, the coming months promise to offer some fantastic viewing opportunities. Whether you're a seasoned aurora chaser or a first-time viewer, the potential for increased northern lights activity is an exciting prospect. So keep your eyes on the skies and you might just catch a glimpse of this extraordinary spectacle. Today we have journeyed from the sun to our skies, unraveling the mysteries of the northern lights. We've explored their origins from the fiery eruptions on the sun's surface, hurtling solar particles across the cosmos and into our atmosphere. We've discovered the science behind their mesmerizing dance of colors, how these particles interact with gases in our atmosphere to create the dazzling curtains of green, red and purple lights. We've acknowledged their unpredictability and rarity, making each encounter a truly special experience. We've examined the effects of solar storms on our planet, from the beautiful auroras to the potential disruptions to our power grids, and we've looked towards the future as the sun's activity cycle peaks promising more opportunities for viewing this natural spectacle. Next time you see the northern lights, you'll know the incredible journey those lights have made and the powerful forces they represent.